My name is Tom Malloy. I was born in Glen Cove, and I've lived in Glenhead on the north shore of Long Island all my life. I get up in the morning, have my coffee, and then I come up to the shop. My red pickup truck is my, is my office right now. I have all my pens in a coffee cup, and I have sip my coffee, and I sketch. Yeah, it's sort of a comfort zone. Whether it's an abstract or a new idea, it's just something I have to do. The pencil sketch is a flat sketch. Once you get into the third dimension, uh, three-dimensional sculpture, everything changes. And that's when you start to fabricate pieces or find other pieces to fit because now you're in real time and you're working on a three-dimensional um, piece. But there's nothing like the actual physical. Here's where your hands come in, your eyes, everything gets into the sculpture. You become part of it. And that's, that's, the, that's the process. I've had a collection of stuff that's better than 40 years of bringing home scrap iron from the old uh, shipyards. A lot of the old farms that went out around here, I collected all these um, iron wheels and pieces that I found interesting. Matter of fact, all of the pieces that I have here are hand-picked. I didn't take old refrigerators and stuff like that because I, I had no interest in that stuff. These things are all uh, pieces that could be incorporated into a sculpture at a later date. And that's what I do. I pick off the pile of stuff, I dig through there, I find all kinds of interesting shapes, and that's what I use. Uh, once I start the physical welding of the piece, and it starts to come together, it reaches a point somewhere in its infancy where I get excited over it and now it starts to grow. And it gets better, I mean, in my eye, it gets better and better, and I continue with it. All right, I'm working on a horse right now, and it's, um, it's a horse with a fallen rider, and the horse is down, he's just getting up. I made a lot of sketches of that one piece. Every morning I do a sketch, a sketch of the fallen rider, so on and so forth. But then when it came to the execution, I had to bend all the steel rods and um, get this shape. The shape is the most important. It's a, minimal, a minimalist sculpture, but it has to show the character of the horse. And I think I've got it now because the horse is, he has a certain amount of character to him. The type of character I was looking for. Something about sculpting, you have that all the dimension. And um, I chose the steel and iron because I was always in that kind of a uh, atmosphere. And all of these uh, things seem to come together as uh, interesting pieces to uh, make sculptures out of. The personal satisfaction, I don't think uh, you can describe it. It's a wonderful thing. And every day, if you can, if you can work at what you like to do, that's a plus in itself. <laughs>